Steam Lich. All right, so this week I played a 25 point caster kill game. It ended up being circle versus circle because when I got to the club, uh, there was only two circle players, so that's what we played. Um, I was playing Epic Kruger for the first time, and he was playing Kaya One. And from what I've read, um, I'm not that scared of Kaya One that much. Board looked like it had uh, two hills, uh, two forests, and all along the sides, one inch elevated terrain. So this being my first game with Epic Kruger, I wasn't really sure what to take. So I took uh, three Tharn Wolf Riders, I took a Stalker, I took a Wold Warden, a Gorax, the Gallows Grove, and Epic Kruger. Um, the idea here is the Gorax and the Stalker is too good in my experience to not take in almost any list. Uh, the World Warden, so I can hopefully get some Gallows shenanigans in, and that way Chromat can be doing maximum telekinesis. Um, the Gallows Grow should help me arc some pain. The Wolf Riders are the fastest thing in War Machine and Hordes, so I'm excited to give them a shot. I've had them uh, pray the Tharn Ravagers. So here you'll see he has a unit of Tharn Ravagers, he has a Gorax, he has a Warpwolf Stalker, he has a Kaya One, and he's also got a Feral Warpwolf, but it's actually proxying for Gatorix. So it'll be interesting to see how Gatorix plays out for him. I also actually just bought Gatorix, so it would be good for me to kind of peeps what he can do, I guess. Okay, so here is my turn one. As turn ones usually go, they're pretty boring. I had the Gallows Grove move up to the edge of that forest, so he's probably going to be able to do some good arcing. I had the Wold Warden run up, I had the Stalker run up, Warp for Prowl. I had Kruger cast the Animus of the Wold Warden so that the Stalker has stealth. I ran up the Gorax, and then I just ran up the Wolf Riders, and I spread them out. Looking at it now, um, I probably could have telekinesed one of my beasts for an extra two inches because I definitely don't need to camp five on turn one. Okay, so here you'll see that he pretty much just ran all of his stuff up here to the edge of this forest. He put uh, Gatorix up on this hill. And the thing about him doing this is he thinks that Gatorix is going to be safe. But then I really have just so many shenanigans to try and pull him in if I have to, um, like the Wold Warden, or I can maybe use the Gallows Grove. So hopefully I can pull him out and kill him. And that's exactly what I do. So I, uh, I move over my Wold Warden, and I Gallows on Gatorix. His defense is kind of high, but I can boost, uh, and so I do. And I hit him, and I pull him five inches. And so five inches is enough for me to charge him with my Warpwolf Stalker. And so I charge him with the Warpwolf Stalker, and I end up killing him, which was pretty nice. But unfortunately, I primaled him, so he's going to have to frenzy. So I also had my Wolf Riders move up and throw Javelin. They killed one Thorn Ravager, and then they did their move, uh, their fast cavalry move, which I must say that I'm pretty fond of. So here, on his turn two, uh, I think him losing Gatorix really like kind of rattled him. And at this point, he's trying to play almost really defensive, which may may not work in his favor. So first off, he charges his Tharn Ravagers forward, and he kills one Wolf Rider, but misses the other two because their defense is too high. Uh, 15 is really nice. Um, and then... He just moves his Gorex up onto the hill and moves Kaya up behind his Stalker and kind of keeps his Stalker back there in the forest. Okay, so turn three. Um, the Stalker was frenzied, so he had to charge and kill the Gallows Grove. Um, the Wold Warden moved up and he tried to Gallows the Gorax. Um, but, and he did, so the Gorax is now in base to base with the Wold Warden because I rolled pretty good better than I had really anticipated. Uh, the Wolf Riders are still kind of tied up with the Blood, uh, with the Ravagers. So I move up uh, Kruger and I use my feet. So I've pushed back the Stalker and Kaya and the Stalker's not effectively going to be able to get into the fight now. 
Okay, so I apologize, but somehow I didn't get my opponent's turn three. Um, the game is going kind of fast now because the lower model count, but I basically wiped out his last Ravager. Um, I think I took a, he, took, he moved away and took a free strike. I also killed the Gorax, who tried to move away from the World Warden and also took a free strike because I think he might have been trying to go all out and kill Kruger. But regardless at this point, it's kind of like cat and mouse, so I'm moving all of my stuff up. I try to get a Geomancied uh, Gallows onto the Stalker and I failed. So that kind of cut that plan short and I just kind of moved everything up trying to corner him. Okay, so at this point the game's kind of going downhill for my opponent, but he is making a valiant effort. And he moves, uh, he charges the, the Stalker in with Lightning Strike and kills my Stalker. And then um, bounces back up here onto this hill and has Kaya come up and hide behind him. Um, at this point Kaya is sitting on no fury though, because I've killed most of his beasts. And if he cuts himself he's going to be in almost a worse situation, but... Um, Maybe it would have been better for him to cut himself to get some transfers. At this point, his stalker is a little bit beat up, though. Alright, so my turn five. So what I do here is I move my World Warden up, and I use Gallows. So I pull the Warpulf stalker. Um, I manage to only pull him two inches, and so he moves up and the damage does a little bit of damage to him but now Kaya is exposed on this hill so I move Kruger up I blast her with some lightning however her defense is a really really high 18 on the hill and Kruger is only a rat of 6 so that means I need a 12 um, unfortunately I have sustained attack so if I can get one hit I'll be able to just keep frying her and so, luckily, I take my first shot, I boost it, and I hit, uh, doing about 10 points of damage. And now that it's sustained attack, I can just keep buying attacks and killing her. So, this brings about my first E. Kruger game as a victory. Alright, so, as an afterthought, um, this list seems really strong, but maybe it was just the matchup, so post below what you think. Is this a good list, or was this just a favorable matchup for me? Um, it seems like the Wolf Riders, everyone hates on them a lot because they're so fragile. But I really thought that they were awesome with defense 15 and speed 9. That's just like, they can get pretty much wherever they need to be. Um, you can't really run your prey away from them, which is a cool thing. And a lot of solos and units have a really hard time hitting defense 15. Um, Epic Kruger just has so much board control. Uh, telekinesis really makes it so that you can really put your Warpool Stalker wherever you need him to be. Um, within reason. Obviously he's not Molik Karn, but he can get pretty far. And also Gallows. Um, Gallows with the World Warden, I find, is so awesome. Even Gallows through the, through the, um... Gallows Grove. They, they even named it after the spell, because that's what it should be used for, is casting Gallows Grove. Because D6 inches is too good. It pretty much allows you to destroy a heavy of your opponents with a stalker with no retaliation, which is game winning. Tune in next time for some Mosa, or maybe Morvana.